And so this is Easter. <laughs> and what, what have, have you done? done? Another, Another egg year older. And a chocolate just for one. <laughs> no, no, chocolate funny. just for uh, one, sir. It was just the so this is Easter. So, that's oh, all that's I prepared. I thought something Easter's else might come to me. Easter's over now. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight, thank God. No, I'm sorry, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what me and my family like to do around Easter? What do you like to do? We like to hide a few real raw beer cans around the garden and then we all go and look for them. Uh, and it's adults only and it's a responsible game. But that's what we do. We go looking for the light and fresh. And sometimes you can go by scent. You can tell, mm. you follow it. Mm, or the there's an old man with a, uh, with a stick and uh, and he walks around the garden and he can find the re-raw cans by when the stick wobbles. Mm, that was always tradition in our house. Uh, <laughs> definitely growing up, I remember the re-raw cans being a big re-raw part cans. of Easter when you we were over 18 drinking responsibly. <laughs> bringing the stick guy to help you find it. If you were struggling, if you had a little fella and he was kind of struggling, couldn't find it, they're bringing the stick man to do mm. that for. And you can do that too. Yes. And uh, you can buy re-raw pretty much most places now. Yeah. And for a full list of places, you should go on Instagram at re-raw beer. Go yes. on the website and they'll tell you exactly where you can buy. Very kindly sponsor this podcast. As you well know. Look, Anna, come on, just, we all know that. We all know. We're just talking about them anyway. Yes. They do also sponsor the podcast. Sponsor so we do want to send a message out there. They ask for nothing in return. Nothing in return. Apart from the ads. But yeah. it's an Irish light and fresh and crisp, lovely can. Shout out to Kill Cool County Wicklow. Re-raw beer. I thought of this idea, right, for an app, right? Maybe you can just build it into the kind of your TV operating system. But it shows you all the gay men around you. Yes. <laughs> and you can have sex with them. It's called Radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's or AD and just an or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, beep. That beep, sounds good. But. Your butt. So no. But. Oh my God, they're everywhere. <laughs> this bloody <laughs> They're closing <laughs> in on us. <laughs> Get out of the vent. I don't Why know, are you in a vent? 5,000 gay men outside our house at the moment. <laughs> It says there's one in the room at the minute, but it's just me. <laughs> Zero meters away, baby. Gaydar. Wait a second. <laughs> no, this is my app. It's not that. I'm a Christian, as you know. My app is that it's a thing. It's kind of like a Netflix, but it just shows all, takes all the streamers, turns them into channels based on the genre of whatever it is, action movies, only movies that you've seen. So there's no spoilers, only t- episodes of TV that you've seen. So there's no spoilers and it'll just, it'll just rotate shit. In a kind of curated Comfort way. Comfort television. Comfort TV. But it's always on. So you'll jump, you'll click into something. And you'll be like, yeah. oh, this. And you get all, just go back. Watch the start if you want. Yeah. Or you'll be like, I'll only watch the, I'll watch this bit of Shawshank because he's about to escape. You know, I'll watch this bit of Pulp Fiction because Sam Jackson's about to do his unreal speech. Mm. You know, I missed that. The, the rewatchable moments. It was a great podcast, Rewatchables, yeah. that has all that kind of thing. Well, it's just like when you nowadays with TV, because people might not know. But when you click the remote and you click in to watch, let's say it's an episode of Friends, it gives you the option. It says, do you want to watch this from the start or do you want to watch live? And you always click watch live. Watch live, man. Why would I want to watch this from the start? I want to be live. I want to feel what all the other 10 people who are watching this live. Yes. I want to be on the same wavelength as them. Yeah. I don't know why. It's irrational, but it's it's what you want. I'm mm. wondering about this comfort TV thing though, that everyone's talking about. Like, And I, I do it myself. We watch things again and again. Are we like we're being like subdued? Like what is happening? Like why television should be challenging? Well, uh, well, art should should be challenging. Uh, I mean, is, is the role of art to provoke or to placate? You know, these are questions mm. we must ask. That's, you know. Yeah, I think there's still some challenging TV. You know, but like when I was watching I like First Dates TV. Island, that was quite challenging. First Dates Island. No. Oh, that's actually been banging this series. It's I've been great. Watching it. I've not I've been seen watching it. it. Yeah, I've been watching it. I'd mm. like to start watching those like American ones, like you know, The Bachelor or Golden Bachelor. That's the one with like quite elderly people. Who's really did their last chance for love? I'd like to watch that. Milf Island. I watched a couple of episodes of that. That was. Is that when people go Milf with their Manor. own mothers? Well, that was the twist. So what happened was it was like you know ten smoking hot young guys, ten smoking hot old broads in one manner, and they go and then they're like all the lads are ch- ch- chatting, all the women are like, I'm really excited to meet some young fella, and then there, it's revealed that all of the boys, that it's their maths. What? Yeah. So they're trying to so hook they're not up hooking, with each other's moms. Hook, hook up with, and then they're like, I don't I don't see her for my son. But they're all like, all the lads oh. are like, I love old 
Fanny, I can't get enough of it. I love a soft TV. That's naughty's TV, is it? Yeah, it's very naughty. Yeah. Mm. No, 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 it's recent. It's recent. It's recent. It's it? Quite year, recent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's very strong. Well, what would you say about comfort TV? Sorry. Uh, I'm I just worried. I'm, I'm wondering about comfort TV. I'm like, are we just like... You're worried about comfort TV. That's the opposite of what you should be. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about it. Like, I think it's okay. But I'm also going, what's this do? What are we doing to ourselves? Are we now... That'll rot your brain. Am I, like, you remember your parents say that? Yeah. Are we actually rotting our own brain? Are Even, we in a state of, what should they call that? Um, when your brain is, en- entropy? Is that, no, um, something like that. Apathet- apathetic? No. We're, there's no, there's so there's so much distraction and Have there's tears of Have you been reading Chomsky, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't actually. I can't read. I feel like there's tears of like what's okay. acceptable distraction, right? And like the bottom is like TikTok. Like in that kind of like disposable watching yeah. kinetic sand fucking be cut being like this man walked into a uh, you know a police station and said I've been shot and it's like some fucking police mm. and then uh, just above that is like YouTube videos that are a bit longer above that is TV like these are like TV's more respected being like I sat down to watch TV be like good on you but like in the 50s it's like TV's gonna rot your brain yeah you yeah know? yeah above that is maybe like magazines if you saw someone reading a magazine you'd be like <laughs> Oh my God, a scholar over here fucking reading a fucking magazine, mm. you know? Well, guys, you are probably so delighted to know that I actually have a degree in media arts and in, in studying this stuff. So this is... No wonder you don't have a job. Well, this is obviously, this is to do with the Frankfurt Schule. You know, you have Walter Benjamin who had his famous thesis, uh, you know, the role of, of, of uh, media in the age of mechanical reproduction. Mm-hmm. And he would propose that he no posits. matter... The medium is the message, so to speak. So the medium itself is the message. And uh, that would that would sort of propose that basically uh, it's the interpretation cannot be controlled. So let's say they're trying to subdue the masses uh, by creating. Interested in what you're saying? Yeah, th- very let's say they're, they're trying to subdue the masses by creating some sort of like uh, sort of a gooey uh, media that makes us distracted and uh, we don't think and all that kind of stuff, and it and we enjoy it. The, it that they can't control how we interpret things. So, for example, um, they make this show Friends, and it's like life is great and fun, and at the end of the day, we should all love each other. That makes us not want to call for a revolution and start sharpening the guillotine. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. we could interpret that show as something that is trying to subdue us and uh, make us mm-hmm. apathetic or whatever about reality. And that means that basically TikTok, all these stuff, they can be mind numbing, but they can't control how you receive this information. Therefore, they can't control us. Ideally, ideally, well, that's ideally, one ideally, way. Ideally, 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 ideally. And that got me. Well, that got me a D minus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Easter, Easter uh, has been co-opted, right? By I don't even know if it's actually been co-opted by Christianity, right? I have done a bit of a deep dive, as you know. I'm a, I'm a badass neo pagan, yes. and I always like to kind of unearth the true tr- pagan traditions in mm. the holidays that we celebrate. Mm-hmm. But. Before I suppose I have so I have some interesting facts about the origin you have, of Easter. Uh, this is actually real. You've done real. I've research. done a tiny yeah, bit yeah, of research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes we say like I looked at this and we just read well, something. like I asked Chat GPT some very poignant questions. Okay. So, but I was wondering, like, if you actually took a Christian and you asked them, like, what is what is when what we celebrate with Easter with bunnies and eggs, mm. what would they actually say? Like, what would they actually, what would a Christian say, being like, this is my holiday and we celebrate the eggs and the bunnies cause I think they'd what? say, well, the eggs gays the burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> burn them gays. I don't want no gays enjoying the same chocolate treats as my kids. <laughs> they take those eggs, they put them in their butt or what have you. Yeah, we um, know what they're doing. They got we these know vibrating what they're doing. eggs. And they put they them got in their these butts. vibrating eggs. <laughs> they they got their... masturbatory eggs. Sin for eggs of the gay people. <laughs> they have these. E- they have these tenga eggs that are disposable, and they fuck them once, and then they have the bunnies. These lesbians are putting bunnies in there, tickling their clit. They call them thing. rampant. Well, that is what it's called. Rampant rap. There's rampant <laughs> sexual, of- disgusting sins across our nation, and we will not stand for it. Sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Easter, sure. Easter, what is Easter? The kids. Easter's Jesus came back from the dead. That's what Easter is. And when he came back, he was all He like, also died. He That's did. Also he Easter. died, it's yeah. the whole thing. Well, actually, see, the thing is, he actually, they put him in the tomb and they actually rolled a big egg. Oh uh, yes, Cadbury's, and it was chocolate, and he ate his way out. That's it. Apparently. Yeah, see that they don't. You won't read that in the Bible. The Saint James the version. That's not in there. 
No, do you know what I discovered? But the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's very clear that it was a it was a chocolate egg. It was a chocolate egg that he had. And they didn't have a lot of chocolate then. That was his other miracle. <laughs> he made chocolate. He actually was Wonka. You know who I like at the Easter time <laughs> is uh, Doubting Thomas. Oh, yeah. And they're all like, he's back. And Thomas is like, he's not. It's not, it's not him. And he's like, it is Thomas. Will you stop? And then Thomas <laughs> is like, all right, okay. Let me put my hand into his side. <laughs> Let me put my fingers into the wound in his side from the Romans. <laughs> At spear. <laughs> and then he was like, <laughs> All right, it's him. Okay. Hansel is good. Oh, I... Yeah, that's definitely Jesus' gallbladder. Imagine it was sick just... little fucks they were. They, they were, were actually were... sick fucks. Eat it. Drink it. Drink it. Eat Drink it. it <laughs> that's my butt. That's my body. But Drink imagine it. it was just some actual rando that came back. Like, Jesus is dead somewhere. I was like, it's me, Jesus. And they're like, hey. It does look and they're like just him. really excited. And Thomas is like, you know it's not him. And the guy's like, fuck this guy. What am I going to do? Goes into the jacks. Hang on, I'll be back in one second. Ah! <laughs> so he hammers a nail in his hand. And he's like, hang on, hang on one second. If I wasn't Jesus, would I have a hold of my hand? He's <laughs> that like, looks like pale, you just did it. Pale as a <laughs> he's like sweating. Am I Jesus now? Yeah. If I wasn't Jesus, would I have this? I can see you. <laughs> hold it. The whole of just the whole of the. Of course, Hello. we do know that the people who are crucified were crucified through the wrists, not the hands. That is true. And I so Padre it. Pio caught rapid, you little liar. Yeah, he's a little liar. Little liar. Easter, they make you act it out. That's the Easter Mass, and mm. it's so. I always find it so like confusing when you're sitting there and you have to read it out. And like the the priest, I think, is Pontius Pilate, mm. and then he. Like obviously chose that role for himself. Yeah. Because Pontius Pilate is like, would you not show mercy on Jesus? Like the priest is like, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Then we the I'll wash me hands. We have to go, me. no, we want to we want to save Barabbas, the murdering Barabbas. And then and then we're we're all like, no, we want to save Barabbas. We want to kill Jesus. When I was a kid, I was reading this, like, why are we saying this? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't we like that guy? Mm. Isn't he our our guy? Yeah, we, we, we've already established in this podcast that our favourite station of the cross is when he falls the second time. Jesus falls for the second time. Yeah. 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 Falls it's second a callback to the first it's time. It's a callback. As a comedian, we love that. Um, do you believe in the Shroud of Turin? <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, the whole thing is very loose. Their whole thing... It's pretty loose. Like, and God died... God pretty so loose, loved the world loose. that he gave his only son. It's like, right, well, he died for what, two days? Yeah. And didn't he go up, to, wasn't he hanging out with you in heaven and then he went back down to earth for like a day? Mm. Did he die? Did he die? Did he die I mean? at all? He seems like he just was like on earth, lived a normal life for 30 years, then did three years of missionary work, right? Mm. <laughs> missionary? Honey, honey, honey. honey. honey I think please. there's a white saviour complex going on there. Actually, he obviously wasn't Of course white. he's not Actually, white. You know what? <laughs> well, I wonder what the actual inflation is of 30 pieces of silver. What would that be now? Oh, I'm going to They don't know they'd have that included in the inflation calculator. I'm going to ask ChatGPT. That'll tell me. You talk among yourselves about how much you love Easter. Well, well there was think, terrible anyway, it inflation loose, at that though. time. It is. Uh, the Romans didn't really understand uh, how money worked, so they just kept making more money because they thought that would sort it out. So there was horrible inflation at the time anyway, so I'd say 30 pieces of silver at the they time. They didn't invent banking, the Romans, and I mean, they gave us lots of lovely things, but tell you, they didn't see 2008 coming, did they? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they weren't that, sm- that, were that bloody clever. You tell me that's Caesar, you see the Lehman Brothers, you tell me that's Caesar, and I think you're so smart now, huh? I tell you, these boys, these Roman boys, I tell you, they're ones to watch. That was some pretty impressive, like, while Tony is Googling, uh, like... Vamping. We, I'm a professional we're, comedian. I'm a professional showbiz star. Vamping while, like, we're like, we need to talk about something. So what Shane went for was Romans not knowing about the 2008 financial crash. That's what we mm-hmm. went for. And it worked pretty well, mm-hmm. I thought. They Tony, did, however, predict the Enron. So they did do that. Mm. Yeah. And okay. that, and that uh, uh, take that would split. They did predict that. Well. They knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that life of Brian being like, what would the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> and then they're like, the aqueduct? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. You're like, plus the streets are safer to walk on. You know, <laughs> the only one who can wrangle us, knowing us. <laughs> All the yeah, Jews yeah, start yeah. laughing like, uh. I would uh, like to go to, I movie. was looking mm-hmm. about the Pompeii and it's like, there's way, when we learned Pompeii in school, it was like, here are the people who were in the hot ash and uh, and let's not forget Herculaneum and the boiling wood over there. Oh my goodness. But now there's loads more Pompeii. Did you know this? Is like, there? There's loads there more Pompeii. Week. 
They have yeah. like more Pompeys. Mu- more Pompeii to no more Pompeii to look at. There's like murals, bakeries. Oh, when we were in school, there was a picture of the like the guy doing the thing, and, and then the, the guy man. whether he's wanking or not. We have talked with him before, actually. It's yeah, just, sorry. My, my God, he's sorry. an icon. Uh, he is an icon. Cons, yeah. One of the greatest wankers of icon. all time. Yeah. Self love. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I I do want to. How can we make the podcast bring us to Pompeii somehow? I don't know. Is that the, feasible? Uh, Anna was at Pompeii recently, and she sent me photos. Like they still have the paint, like the color of the mosaics. It's yeah. insane. It's so wow. cool. It's so so cool. But also, you know, they had slaves and shit. So you know, cancelled. I will say this. Though, Don't right? we all though, in a way? <laughs> yes. What I know about Ooh. lava, pretty fucking slow. So. Well, but it was the hot ash that got them in Pompeii, Tony. Was it? Yes, Herculaneum, they were got the boiling mud. That sounds pretty bad. That now. sounds pretty rough. At Pompeii, I do think, like, hurry on now. Mm. So hot ash turned them to hot ash? No, they, it just, did they melt them? Well, I mean, they're, they're preserved stone people, aren't they're they? They're not, no. No, those are casts, they filled in holes. What? Yeah, that's not so that. So if we that's... were sitting in this studio yeah. and then it filled up with the hot ash, yeah. And the hot ash all around us, right? Built up all around us. Mm. The holes of our natural bodies and they're the, not the dead ash. We would rot away from the little guys inside us who will eat us all up. Mm. Yeah, okay. You mm. sure? The little guys who hang around our eyelids and all. They'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll gobble us all up and all our little bits. I'd say I'd have a little nibble on you guys while we're down here. You know? oh, yeah. I'd have a little wank on you both. Well... <laughs> I, we'd be, if we would, I want to be wanking you both. Circle, circle jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Circle jerk. If we're, if we're going to go down like the Pompeii, I want to not be the guy who just wanked himself. I want to be, I was generous till the end. Like, the wanked off chain. my that friends. Quickly, quickly, quick. The daisy chain of Dublin. <laughs> and I have my hands over my eyes, you have your hands over your ears. Yes. Wank and wank, <laughs> no evil. <laughs> Hear no evil, see no evil. Finally, no evil. the man of Pompeii has some friends. <laughs> yeah, finally. They died delighted. Um, young, hot ash guys. Young hot ash guys. Yes. Okay, I found out how much 30 pieces of silver is. Can you believe how much this cunt sold Jesus for, right? 294 euro. What? 294 euro. And that's in today's money? That's in today's money. The total value Jeez. of 30 pieces of silver today would be approximately 294 euro, is what he took. It was a big bag and all. What would he get then? Do you know what I mean? Judas. Judas. He must not have liked him. Do you know what I mean? It's not even, I don't even know if that's like just being a, a betrayal. That's just kind of like, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll do it for free. You they know. didn't explain any of the stuff, right? You know the way Judas's whole thing, they never explained this in school like that there was a cultural difference. Like, they were like, Judas, they were like, well, how will we know which one's Jesus? And they didn't explain in school because they didn't have photographs. They didn't have the newspaper. They didn't explain yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, They'd yeah. say, and Judas said, it's the one I'm going to kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I lay my lips upon. My they never explained like, well, they would have been different. They would have greeted <sighs> each other with that way. Mm. Customs were different. They didn't explain any of that because they're like, just left us going like, Kiss him, and then it's like, and I used to just picture yeah. like other because they were men, so I used to just picture other men coming and kissing my dad on the cheek, and I was like, "What is this?" I was like, what is this? <laughs> but also, Jesus is like, "All right, before we eat, um, I gotta wash them feet. <laughs> I gotta wash them toes. Them You're feet. all right. You're all right, man. I actually didn't. I actually didn't wear good socks today. Like I didn't notice the shoes off, kind of gaff. So um, <laughs> you know, like yeah, but they could explain the feet. There's so much stuff they don't explain. I know. They explain it's like because they walk in a culture ages. where they walk and they uh, wear yeah, yeah, sandals yeah. and it's dusty and it's sandy and it's deserty. Yeah. That washing your feet is this lovely act of, of luxury and a generous thing one might do for one another. Yeah. They, they were like Mary Magdalene washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. We're like, well, that's a bit fucking Just weird, bit isn't fucking it? Fucking weird, yeah. A bit weird. Big mucky hair. And it's like, oh, I'll that wash you, Jesus. No way, you're getting what are all you that doing? tears. God. <laughs> Dry, mucky. But yeah, can I wash your feet? Only if I can get to kiss you. <laughs> Only yeah. if I can kiss you later. I wash them with yeah. my bare hands. There's thank you. There. I'm gonna wash your feet. Then you're gonna eat me, and then you're gonna kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. That's what happened. Wow. Uh, okay, enough, Jesus. Tell me the old okay, Easter. Tell you the old I want old okay, Easter. Okay. I want, what, what's it called? What's the name? Okay, so Pax. Pax. Koshk. Pask? What, Pask? I don't know. I thought that's like the original. No, okay. So pa- I'll tell you this. Pack? It's called Pack in French. It's called Pack. Easter. Yeah, Pack. Like Public accounts. Tupac. <laughs> no, the word, the word Easter actually is believed to be derived from uh, a pre-Christian god, mm. uh, a Germanic pre-Christian god called Esther. E-O-S-T-O-R-E. Yep. Which was the uh, pagan Midas. goddess of dawn, spring, and fertility, whose symbols included eggs mm. and bunnies because of their rampant uh, sexuality. sexuality. Oh. Oh. So there you go. So, see, there used to be so much good German shit yeah. before that fucking numpty ruined it all for you. Do you mm. know what I mean? We should be looking at all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Easter bunny 
um, has long been a symbol of fertility because uh, bunnies high uh, reproductive ability. Um, and yeah, it's, it, the German Lutherans was the first mention as the uh, as an egg bringer in uh, 16, 1682. Wow. And going back even further, right? Mm. The have you even heard of the Zoroastrians? Oh, sure. I'm all about sure. them. Every I was just about them about them earlier. But you explained to the people who sure because you have the they're words. like an, an Iranian uh, like like millennia year old kind of um, religion that I think predates most, most other religions, I think. Anyway, they had a tradition of decorating eggs um, and that was then adopted into the Christian celebration of Easter. As well as that, there's, so the Easter Bunny is a German thing and you know they have a, um, they have a Swiss one as well. In Switzerland, they mm -hmm. don't have an Easter Bunny, they have an Easter cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yeah. Oh, those cuckoos are little fuckers, aren't they? They are. Cuckoo. They're little fuckers, them cuckoos. Cuckoos. They are. I'll never forgive them. So in German, uh, the actual the Easter bunny uh, used to be called, it was an egg-laying hare, and they called them Osterhaus. Ost o Osterhaus. Like an, Osterhase. Osterhase. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Easter hare. Probably say that still, no? They probably still do. You're the German. I'm the German. You're the German. We uh, do big things on Easter. It is true. And what I found was really funny is that in Switzerland they have this uh, cuckoo and he's called Osterkuckuck. <laughs> Not to be confused with Osterkuck, right. who is the guy who comes around at Easter and tells you to fuck his wife. <laughs> um, there's, a diff there's a different guy. We that do. took me a moment. That took me a moment. When, when <laughs> I got there, when I, got, I got enjoyed there. it. I like Osterkuckuck. I think we should adopt him. The Easter is really big in Germany. We do paint eggs. I mean, you're hiding chocolate in your shoes just on a fucking Wednesday. Yeah. It be, is it Easter it, the chocolate shoes time? Uh, no, that's uh, the Christmas. 4th of December, I think. I can't remember exactly. That's chocolate in the shoes. Chocolate at the end of your bed or chocolate, a little chocolate basket. Then we do an Easter hunt, which I think kind of became a thing in Ireland as well. Mm. But they would hide. Very funny because, you know, my granddad used to do it in, in, in Ireland because they were also a German family. And uh, he'd hide them all over the garden. We'd go running around. But like... He would hide some of them so well and like you would find them and like rotted away. And I'm pretty sure that's why there was a pretty bad mouse problem in that house. <laughs> <laughs> that was, Opa was like, Opa was like putting the chocolate all over the crevice, putting them in the walls. I'd say my granddad was like, could you stop like feeding the rats essentially? Just hearing scratching on the walls. Yeah. Oh, the Austin mouse. But we do, we do a thing that's called <laughs> Zolai. And this is a really nice thing. Uh, so also I think we, we, when we decorate the eggs, we, Pierce a hole in the top of it and pierce a ho hole in the bottom and then you blow the eggs. Nice. So that's a thing. And then you dip it in some sort of dye. So they're dyed a color. And you can paint them if you want, but ten we tend to do the dyeing thing. And then uh, a Zola eye is where you have boiled eggs on, on, on Easter. And what you do is you slice it in half. Mm. Make sure that you've got enough yolk in both halves. Then you take the yolk out, fill that with... Uh, a mixture of vinegar and oil and then uh, zenf, which is mustard, strong mustard. And then you just eat it in one go. It and it is delicious. It is Sounds so good. Is it actually? It's Looking. so good. Tell me you came what's in it. So it's, it's, it's um, oil vibe. vinegar in the cup of the egg, uh, like with, uh, where the yolk, the yolk would have been. And then mustard. That's called zolai. And it's it's so good. What should we be doing with the yolk? You sort of just place it on the, the rim of the, the rim. of the egg. And then you knock it back in kind of a shot almost. Like an oyster. And it's very, it's very, very good. And one time me and my friend on Easter when I was like 12 or something, I was like, I need a Sham Zolai. So we boiled a load of eggs, but he didn't have any of the ingredients in his house. So we cycled back to my house, but then uh, all the eggs fell out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the estate down the road for me like, there's just like six <laughs> boiled eggs on the floor. Oh. <laughs> My friend was thinking it was so funny. They must have thought like we were teenagers who were going to egg a gaff. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. we didn't understand it fully. So we just mm. wanted to egg a gaff with boiled eggs. Boiled eggs. <laughs> 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 when I was in the Scouts, they the leaders did this. It was Easter weekend. Easter camp's a big week, a big time for camping in the Power Squad. And they had Easter and F April Fool's Day were the same day. And oh, they yeah. went and, uh, the other way, Easter falls to because of the moon. Yes, pagan again. Uh, but the Islam did that as well. For the Ramadan changes based on the moon as well. Mm -hmm. hey, I might have to ask my mate, <laughs> Chat GPT, about that. And everyone calm down. We can talk about Islam. No, I mean, I, I don't know the, I don't know the answer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it does. I thought <laughs> you were doing, like, the way everyone's afraid to say. Like, everyone's afraid to say. There's going to be Muslim. two Ramadans in one year in a couple of years. Well, because it changes. Because of the moon. Because of the moon. Yeah. Ramadan and then but Ramadan anyway, ding dong. They did this thing. They were like, all right, everyone up here. And they were like, <laughs> told us there was an Easter egg hunt. And they hit, there was somebody, we were all looking around this marshy 
wooded, muddy area and somebody produced a plastic bag came out of the mud with a cream egg in it. So we were like, oh my God, it's on. And they were like, there's not enough eggs for everyone. So it was like the pressure was on and we searched around our hands and knees in mud and brambles and things. And then after like after like an hour, they were like, no one found any more eggs. And they were like, hey guys, do you know what date it is? Fuck. Oh. April oh. Fool's. Like it was very good, April Fool's, because oh, no. we, were, we were fooled. I hate April Fool's. And it was the last morning as well. It was a very sly. Actually, it was the last morning. Oh, we are going home that afternoon. So they were like, get filthy. Why not? Why not? When you're on camp as well, you don't know what day it is. No, very no. confused. We also used to do something called the Amazon Adventure Trail, which was a really good, that was a best. So that was a kind of orienteering thing? It was like, no, you basically run up here, run it like a kind, it was just up and down. It was a, a trail they made up themselves in the woods, but you finish in the river. It's great. We, Shout out to the Amazon. We would trail. do Easter camp uh, in Scouts and we would have to go to the mass on the Sunday and they'd oh file God. us in. And I honestly, oh. I felt like a, I felt like, like soldiers kind of walking in. I felt like the respect to the people in there. Like mm. we'd file in sort of in our Their little uniform. dappy duck uh, costumes and walking in. And I felt like I was a serving soldier and I was seeing the civilians and they were looking at me and I'm like, you don't know what it's like out there. You know? <laughs> were you at attention the whole time? I was at attention the whole time, except, you know, when the priest kind of let us, mm. uh, let us kneel. Let us I pray. Would kneel, let us pray. Um, but I felt kind of like honorable. Yeah, it's very honorable. I mean, the the, the uniform is, is, you know, impeccable. When I first got my scout uniform, I just felt like, all right, now I'm going to fucking was send me to Rwanda. Light blue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to feel like I was in the UN. It was light blue, yeah. Light blue, yeah. yeah. We didn't have that. I hated April Fool's when it was... I like May April Fool's. I think that's always fun. But then, like, WhatsApp has kind of ru- ruined April Fool's because, like, it's always, like, who the first person to get, you know, yeah. the joke in, the, yeah. the fool in is, you know, you're always kind of vigilant about it. But when you're a kid, I hated teachers doing it. I remember our principal coming in one day and we were, like, in second class and came in being like, we're getting rid of the water fountains. And I'm like, why are you even fucking telling us this? Mm. And I'm like... Go ahead. And, and they're like, but we're bringing in a new powdered water that we're going to have and the only <laughs> thing uh, you need to do is just add a little bit of water to it and then you can get a full <clears throat> thing of water and everyone was just like, sitting there staring at him and then he wrote and the name of the um, the brand of the water is Loof Lurpa which is oh. April Fool's backwards right and he wrote it on the board and then everyone's just still staring at him not engaging and he's like can anyone tell me what that is backwards and someone's like April Fool's and he's like ah and I'm like thanks for fucking wasting our time oh. yeah, what a load of bullshit like, because you just—you are so not fun. No, I'm fun with like my mate, my mate Joe. Last, he's trying to make a bit of fun. He probably walk giddy in walking. In fairness to that teacher, that's real dry shiny. But you're just no, sitting there, like no, no, no with, with, with teachers. And, it wasn't boys. fun, though, kid. It's it not fun. We're there with teachers and scout leaders. It's just kind of like you're just like, look, everything you tell me, I have to listen to. Like, mm. there's no difference. You know what I mean? You just you yeah, no idea how hard it is to engage with students, especially a bunch of fucking teenagers who were doing nothing. And and you're like, here's a fun way to start the class. He could just be reading from the textbook and go ho 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 but he's actually that's ho 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 but actually he's mm-hmm. going here's a fun idea I, you know what I'm going to I'm going to perform for these kids but, but I think I the point remember, is it was fair. not a good it, it wasn't, wasn't a good, good bit. bit it wasn't a good bit we're like okay I suppose that's fine seems a bit dumb but there's Wait, a lot of dumb we, shit around here he's a teacher he's a principal he's a principal he's trying his best Breathe to engage that. with the student John, John and me Joe did last year April Fool's sent a text around right saying um, has anyone seen Jack um, I was just on the phone to, to Claire and, and he's, he's gone missing like he, has, oh he hasn't come God. home and I was like you joke and, and he was like April Fool's and he's like I'm actually not even messing and like I checked his phone I checked I went on WhatsApp to Jack and I was like because like, I didn't want to be like you know and I'm like he wouldn't do this why would he have everyone worried that Jack is like gone missing God. And but it was getting late and we hadn't heard from Jack and I was kind of like texting and I text like is, is you know eventually I text you know his girlfriend I was like oh me and my cousin were texting back and forth being like he wouldn't do this. Like, I know it, this is pure April Fool's. Like, I'm not buying into this. And then eventually he had to just text his girlfriend and be like, oh, is Jack, is Jack there? He's like, yeah, he's right here. But like, everyone was like... Is that what you prefer the principal had done? Walk into class? It was kind of juicy very, though. It was fairly I fucking have juicy, I have to a say. a very bad announcement to make. And Martin Lowry, uh, from third class, was tragically killed in an accident <laughs> on the way to school. I don't even like it as a joke. Yeah, I don't even like <laughs> sorry, it as a joke. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I don't like it. Yeah. Was that what you want? I don't know. No, but know. something, there's no stake, nothing's at stake nothing's for the water. Stake. We're getting new like, water. So if How it, did I, water. Our teacher did one time in like fourth class, she did like, she was writing up, you know, the homework and then it was like, she kept writing. She was like, read 20 pages and we were like, oh my God. And then someone said like, that's a lot of homework, teacher. And she's like, hmm. April Fool. And we were all like, oh, you got us. Like that, when you have a lot of homework to do, not like, 
Mm. We can't have water. Can't have water. Like, kids don't want water anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is a tuck shop. That's what we're fucking drinking. If you said we're getting rid of like the cans of Coke, we'd be fucking livid. Yeah. We're bringing this in new coming, drinks. Luke Lurpa. A teacher, to students who every time they'll be like, uh, not doing my homework for April Lent or whatever. Like That's kids fun. are the, ki- ki- students are the kings of shit patter around Easter time. That's true. The kings of it. And this teacher's trying to give some shit patter back and they suddenly they're getting judged for it. I think any attempt to engage with students should be. I like this. I like this fire. I mean, ha- like I love to parents, see the fire in him, but I disagree, I disagree with him. <laughs> yeah. I disagree deeply. My dad's yeah. a sexy school teacher, and I'm, if he did something like Your that, your dad's a sexy me. school teacher. Sex, sexy, sexy school, school teacher. teacher. He's so hard. <laughs> I'm rock. He's rock hard for me. He's rock hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a rock hard, sexy school teacher. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, but I think uh, go fuck yourself, and that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. Look, I hear your point. I'll mm. take it on board. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that would annoy. It would annoy me as well. That, that, like, I just hate. I hate puzzles. I hate fucking shit. I don't get. And then just tell me, like, ah, this was all a big waste of time that I planned for you. You know, I'm a fun guy, I swear. But I just don't like that kind of like. Here's a little puzzle that he's forced upon you. What well, would, you, would you have hated my scout leaders? I what would they did? have fucking because I, I would have been so keen for the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, but we got. We also got an egg going home. Like they had chocolate. Okay, like, okay. to go well, home. Tony's mo- no, 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 Tony's mum would have complained. Yeah, yeah, she would have. Complained. Tony would have made. She would have like, I'll drop. I'll, we'll pick up any strike on the way. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. She would have said. Do you know what the biggest scam is? You know that obviously you get. I'm a Cambry's uh, kind of Easter egg house, right? Do you I, like I don't, the... I don't like Nestle because I don't like do the you brand. Do like the cream egg? But the, I want the cream egg Easter egg and that's the biggest scam. The cream egg Easter egg, I saw it and I'm like, I'm going to tuck into this with a fucking spoon. I can actually even feel the headache I'm going to get from eating this much <laughs> cream, yeah, sugary cream. And then you crack it open there's none. I hate those jokes. I think Bullshit. they're over... Uh, cream eggs? Yeah, I think... What is it? Over... Uh, hyped, hyped, yeah. The cream eggs overhyped. Yeah, I think they suck. Think they, they used suck? to be yeah. wetter. Now I will say the cream eggs used to be a wetter consistency. They were. It, it was more uh, slick, and now it, they they're a bit drier. They're now. a bit in dry. my house. They you know what we do. Spill. We, we slice the cream one egg in half, spill. turn it in the side, and then we pour vinegar, vinegar and oil. Oh, that's mm-hmm. gross. And a bit of mustard on the that's side. That's lovely. <laughs> I was going to do that once with my friend, and then but I actually <laughs> dropped all the cream eggs out of my pocket. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, on the way over, crazy because we didn't heat any ingredients. We'll go back to my. Mm. Um, Such a child thing to be cycling a bike that's probably too big for you because you know your parents always bought a bike that was like two years too big for you Mm. that you'll grow into it and like cycling this bike and then a load of boiled eggs falling out of your pockets. So so you you can hear the that's that's not a kid thing. (laughs) You're cycling a bike and and loads of boiled eggs fall out of your (laughs) pocket. You're the only child that's ever happened to you. Just like trombone music playing over you. (laughs) Joe, what do we do? Do we just yeah. we'll just leave them there? Yeah, we'll just leave them there. Leave them there. <laughs> and then like your you are by the time you get home, your mum is like, Did you leave a load of boiled eggs down in Rosman Gardens? Was Rosman that Gardens. you? Mm. No, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> um, Boys are so stupid. Oh, I love it. I was talking about monsters with Sonny, and I was telling about monsters, and I was telling him about Dracula and I was telling him and he was like and then I was I was telling him facts about Dracula and I was like oh he sleeps in a coffin and he's like what's a coffin I'm like oh um, a coffin is like what you go in sometimes when you die and they bury you in a coffin and he's like what and then I was like and then she's like and then he's like but does Dracula die and I was like well no he he doesn't die he kind of comes back and then he drops this on me he goes am I going to die <gasps> and he's three now what and it made, it made me realize that I don't have a big, comfy, since the, being probably the first generation in a thousand years without Christianity, probably yeah. in the family. This is the first generation, I think, that is, I don't have the duvet of the afterlife. Mm. I don't have the duvet of we're all going to be hanging out later. Oh. And I also don't even know what I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and he's asked me, what would you do in this situation based on your own beliefs? If, you, if a three year old says, am I going to die? And you can't lie or you can lie, but I don't know. What would you do? I think three is still small enough that you can just say no if you want. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can just say no. Or I think the other thing is not for a long, long, long. That's what we like did. Sometimes you say a hundred years. We said a hundred years. Yeah, a yeah. hundred years yeah. is a good wedge there to say yeah. that. Because kids can't even count to a hundred. I know, like, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. And he's like, is that a big number? And I was like, yeah, it's a big number. Oh, long, 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 long. And then Terry goes, well, do you know what actually, Sonny, what happens when you die? You go into the ground and then you actually grow loads of plants and and grass and he's like I don't want to be plants <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh no 
<laughs> so we didn't know, you know. Oh, I could see tough. where she was going with that. I know, yeah, I know. I think that's beautiful, but it's beautiful like for like I am me. Groot. I am Groot. Yeah. Oh my God, I'll tell him. Oh, he'll fucking love that. I'll say Groot. That's mm. genius. I'll tell him you'll be Groot. A bit like that. Yeah. yeah. That's a good um, You'll be kind of a mute, a mute Groot. Of it, but yeah. 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 You kind of be like group. An ant. It's funny that comes up so yeah. quick for him. What he's three. He's three. And he's already asking about that because it's funny that death comes up because we're actually I think in Ireland we're great at death. Well, oh. this is the thing we are, we are really, really fucking good with death. Culture, you know, I can't um, wait for when he used to die. I just know. Not yeah. to like, but I did see. Yeah, I know we joke about that, but I did see a TikTok the other day, uh, and somebody, this girl. I mean, God love her, but she was like. She was trying to explain this how in England funerals are different to the funerals here, whatever. Sure. Which is well trodden territory. We've all. We've all, mm. We all know that now. But she's younger than me. But then she was like, you know, we are very good at it here, you know, trying to explain this to other cultures. Like, you know, death, it's, you know, it's very normal. <laughs> it's like, hold on. Like, it's not like we're like, oops, oops, <laughs> oops, hey, dead. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's every death is tragic and sad yeah, and, yeah. And, and causes yeah. um, months and years of grief that is so painful. Yeah. It was like, it's not that. We're not, it's like, we, we, we mark it respectfully. We confront the thing. But it's, no, it's not, it's, not, it's very normal. Very normal. Where's the dead? Oh, there's the corpse. <laughs> God, I was only talking to him. There he is, dead. Yeah. What age is he? 17? No age. Yeah, go yeah, on, doesn't yeah. matter. He loved, he loved the 46A route, oh. so we, we prop him up in the bus and we just let him go along the whole route there and back. That's normal. Yeah, that's that's normal. normal. dying all the time. Drop like flies. Yeah, we don't even act like he's dead. We don't even, we actually fucking, you know, he's the I same. I don't give a fuck, actually. He's actually the fucking same. Yeah. Oh, my whole yeah. family dropped dead around me. Oh, oh. God. News is I have to ring the bloody flanagans on the phone. I'm massive. I'm I, mm. I don't... I, there's a good... Uh, Quote from who's that uh, physicist, the American physicist who goes on a bit with the who got rid of Pluto being a planet. What's his name? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He has a good one about like uh, about how to grapple with death uh, in uh, with a non-religion, but kind of you are part of the universe, kind of thing. He has sure, you're stardust, and you go yeah, back to being you're stardust. stardust. Like yeah. so, like say you're like stardust. You're part of a, an ever-changing system. Yeah, I think he still wants to be sentient. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think sentient. that's the big thing. I think yeah. he still wants to be able to chat. You tell him, the gods envy us. <laughs> yeah, I know. The gods, gods envy us. <laughs> you should tell him, you tell due him to our ahead. failures mm. and the failures of the previous generations, you and everyone you know will die of thirst <laughs> and starvation. And crops will fail. Water supplies will dry up. Mm. There will be no earth left but scorched brown earth. Hot ash. You will fall to your knees. You best not be wanking when the hot ash comes <laughs> from the drought. Um, Such thirst you will drink the boiling mud of Herculaneum. <laughs> I mean, I also kind of want to tell him, look, there's going to be a chip in your head that's going to slow down your perception of time and you're probably going to live for like a thousand years yeah, in a video game. You will be uploaded you know? to the cloud. Yeah, I know. Like, I like that you're that. replacing... Like the eons of kind of like religious, you know, mm. make believe with your own make believe. Yeah, uh, you're true, like, true. I'm not going to teach them this uh, religion that's totally happen. untrue. I'm going to teach them my own Look, ideas. There's actually totally a pretty good afterlife stuff. thing kind of in kind of beta right now. It's not, you know, yeah. it's not. It's kind of a beta. It's untested, but it's a pretty good afterlife. Uh, Elon Musk's invested in it. It's kind yeah. of an app. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of blindsided me a little bit. Mm. And uh, yeah. that's I mean, that's tough. And like. Uh, I appreciate that you're asking your two childless friends, but I don't think we're <laughs> the people who have the answers. I'd say ask your parents. Yeah, you might have asked that question. Before. Yeah, but they're but they but they would have probably have like a loose kind of even not practicing kind of Christian idea of the afterlife that they'll kind of go somewhere. You dead know? handy. Just talk about heaven. Yeah, it is dead, dead handy. handy isn't it? It's like God is watching yeah. you, so don't fucking swear. And yeah. Santa's watching you, so don't swear. And you're you know, everything's gonna be fine. And there's nothing bad ever gonna happen. And you're all gonna hang out. And it's actually gonna be better over there. It's actually gonna be better. Like, you're gonna get all take, you want. It doesn't take much thinking to go like just to <laughs> why they have religions in the first instance. Oh yeah, it doesn't make much thinking. And well, it, it, all fears. But it's yes, but it's about fear. Those simple impulses of like normal human fears of like what happens? I'm, am I alive? What's the point? Uh, am I going? What happens when I die? Why am I here? Who am I? Love each other. All those things, and then they add in like. Uh, and don't be riding a man and, and uh, <laughs> uh, no beards and you have to have curly hair. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah, these yeah. crazy fuckers have ruined all these lovely ideas of Don't like, eat pig because it only has tree trotters instead of like two hooves. Yes, yeah. sick. They've only learned their hooves. Disgusting. Mm. And it must no be... Meat you must, no meat on Friday. Must be, the throat must be slit and hung up. I was like, what are you talking yeah. about? As if God's up there making... If there is a God up there making make, all this stuff over these over the seven days them, and then going, make I will them, not have them. Uh, cut the top top there, Willie. 
I know I'm making their willies like this, but I want them as soon as they're born, cut the top off the willy. Cut the top off the willy. <laughs> Uh, like a, like the top of a you know a WD forty can you yeah, snip the thing you know or maybe the, a toothpaste tube there's a virax you have to use the top of the lid to poke the thing virax something like that something like that I don't know. cut the dicks off yeah yeah yeah, yeah no yeah. not the whole not the whole thing but anyway yeah mm. I re- that's really important to me that's really important if there's a benevolent lord watching over us deciding all those things it's ridiculous these guys got to be cut I don't know I just kind of if they're coming up here they have them kind of want a bunch of cut guys you know what I mean at the end of the day <laughs> sometimes the Americans say those things that you know they have circumcision in such wide uh, numbers or whatever sure. and they're like and they're like it just looks so much neater I was like have you seen one have you seen one yeah. are you stupid yeah like you can see where it was cut like yeah it's a big scar I want to see more I want more representation of nibs hanging off the end of Mickey's. You know? When you, draw, think, when you draw a Mickey, yes. why, why should I as a Dublin yes. boy yes. draw on a cock? And I did all the time. And so I would purposely draw one with a fucking nib on it looking like fucking fungi with the little top sticking on the top. This is School Children of Ireland. Please, please, take this on. If you listen to this which Lend me I, your ears. I, I know you don't. <laughs> Lend me your ears and Friend that's all. Yes. Uh, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. hey, 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 hey. The good people of Erod don't not want to sponsor this kind of stuff. <laughs> but, but if you are drawing, if you are drawing, cocks, draw a little foreskin on there. Draw a foreskin on. I'm a. Yeah. Can we be pushing skin? this agenda? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you bowed out of it. I was really fun. I just was morning. like, oh, foreskin again. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> we do talk about it a lot. It's, re- it's remarkable how much we come back around to foreskin. It's yeah. wild. Yeah. Well, you were going on a Shakespeare Shakespearean thing. We were trying to shoehorn more, I guess, cultured quotes into the thing. We were um, into the podcast. Yeah. Is Lend me your ears. Is also that. Lend me your friends, round countrymen. Julius Caesar. Yeah. yeah. What's I was the first play I was ever in, which is maybe the first bit of performance really that I did. You caught the bug. I was Peter uh, in Peter Romeo Fyle? and Juliet, Sorry. and I had one word, and it was anon. And let me tell you, wow. the crowd loved it. Mm. I went, Anon. And then somehow the way, so they said, the nurse goes, Peter. And I went, Anon, which means I'm here. Yes. And uh, and they and I, I always got a laugh. It was good. And then they play that song, and it goes on and on and on. <laughs> Tick tock. Uh, what was your first uh, theatre performance, first play? I did my first play, Lines, on this show already. What was it again? Um, just as she stretched, you know, and the people back to their place, the toys would creep, sad and happy, no, not one for they that night had so much fun. But I did do in the confirmation, mm. I did do it, played St. Peter there. Oh, very good. Did I do that on the podcast before? I don't know. I don't know. The so. lines were, fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. These men are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken with the prophet Joel. In the beginning, God said, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will see visions. Your young men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit. And everyone who calls the name of the Lord shall be saved. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wonder good. how much you've forgotten that you keep that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That seems why is that? Yeah, why soul. is that full time? I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I, I was, can't uh, remember the names of people who like... I work with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your yeah. Christian name? Yeah, no, uh, what's okay. your name again? What's your Christian name? Tommy. Tommy. Mm-hmm. Tommy Candles. Tommy, Tommy Candles. <laughs> uh, my first was uh, Innkeeper in the Nativity. It was mm. supposed to be Joseph, but my fucking cook of a primary school teacher bowed out. I was meant to be Joseph, and then we were in the group with the whole year, and then all of a sudden Paul Flynn steps up as Joseph, and I look over at my teacher, I'm like, what the fuck? You said I was Joseph. And he's like, mm They'll cook. Anyway, I was man the, went in and beat the shit. At least out of you're him. over it anyway. No, anyway. Like, I, so <laughs> then I was um, I was the innkeeper and I was all like, We're fully packed. You couldn't swing a cat in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, couldn't yeah, swing yeah, a cat yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah. I do have a stable outside. It isn't much, but it could sleep you and your wife for the night. Yeah, I can see why Paul got that part anyway. Um, but uh <laughs> Don't let the donkey eat your wife. They don't know you're not food. <laughs> that Is little that? bit. <laughs> no, anyway. Uh, a bit weird, yeah. No, yeah, I can see why why he it was a safe cast, but I can see why that happened. Well, he's not in showbiz, I am, so. They should put on an Easter play. <laughs> Easter play, they do, as I said. It's pretty the start, fucking grim. You, it's grim. They have the, they have the, you act out the. You'd be a good genius. You act out the Pontius pilot where they have Barabbas and they have, and he's going to let one of them free because at that time they had a, mm. only one person in Judea can be guilty a day. Mm. So it was like Barabbas or Jesus. And you have to act it out. Barabbas the robber. Barabbas. Barabbas the robber. I always want to be Barabbas. I'm a bit of a Barabbas. 
Um, was he just a robber? Father into a... your hands, I, I think commend my spirit. I think he's a murderer. Oh, was he? Murder and bastard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Well, like, I mean, I've been in like punishing situations before, like at a bar trying to get a drink and someone burned the ear off me. Imagine being up there in a fucking cross and you got some fucking murderer burning the ear off you. Being like. It's just you're getting your, you're getting your scriptures confused. Barabbas was the person who was chosen to be freed instead of Jesus of Nazareth. Then when he was crucified, there were two people on the crosses beside him. I mean, this is... Who are they then? They're, they're, they're two forgave. criminals. They're the one robbers. Is a murder, one is mm. a, and one of, them, uh, one of them gets salvation from Jesus. The other one doesn't. He's down there. He got, He's doing stairs. He got the sacrament of reconciliation. Yes. Yeah. I love that in again. This is the of, most Catholic pod. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Well, it's, it's just like we, it's part I, of our culture. I don't know why we do we do veer back into it, but I like it. I like it too. I don't know. Do people let us know if you like how much we talk about religion? <laughs> well, like it's kind of like there's a do, it's it's kind of childhood nostalgia. It's kind of wrapped up in like the tuck shop. Yeah, kind of wrapped yeah, up in, yeah. You're not yeah. a '90s kid unless you had the Eucharist on your tongue. You know yeah. that kind of thing. That's why I do feel bad for people who grew up like. Uh, and if I had children, I would raise them without religion. But I do feel bad for those who are like we had. No, we were just had no religion going up. I'm like, you missed out on all this chunk of a way. Of, I know. It's a useful thing to look at but, but, to, to consider what, what you want and what you don't want and what informs your. But they replaced ethics. that with like other people's cultures. Like imagine you just learned about other people's cultures. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, and I your you whole mean. idea of a different culture was just when you went to Spain. And you're like, well, I guess they just fucking use laser pe pens everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not, you, you, you learn about other things. You learn about compassion and community and all that kind of stuff, you know? And from, and from, and, and a personal responsibility for it. I think there's, a, that's the thing with Christianity is it kind of drives you a lot of your personal responsibility. You can kind of have your sins absolved. You can give your worries over to God. All thoughts, like all this kind of stuff, it's in the hands of God. Of our Lord. And, and everything's going to be fine. And you're going to go to heaven and, you know. It's all this kind of, so it's this whole personal responsibility, which is probably maybe why the next generation is so into sustainability and is a bit more into cultural inclusion and all that kind of thing, because it comes from what can I do as a person rather than better what's God going to do. Yeah, but then they also vape little plastic yokes. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, what, you know. Who's talking, man? Who's fucking buying 10 DVDs a day to try and get rid of his vape addiction? <laughs> there, well, it's one Blu-ray a day <laughs> and I've replaced it with snooze. Anyway, next question. Um, yeah. Are you going to get an egg for Anna? Yeah. 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 What's yeah. her, what's her, what's her, what's I her think vibe? she likes lint. Oh. Wow. Linder, Excuse Linder. A yeah. woman of expensive taste. Yeah. Oh my God. Honey. Uh, so, and also we are trying to get a red velvet couch that I saw in a charity shop on Camden Street immediately after this. You As you know, I'm doing my businessman thing. But, but uh, we've got a red velvet couch. Uh, and mm, Delicious. And um, mm -hmm. I'm going to get her to slice. She's going to look like an ad. She's going to look like an ad. I like the ads. Uh, oh, she'll be eating her lint egg eat on her, her lint, red velvet couch. Did you ever couch? see those ads that are lint or Lindor chocolate or whatever? Mm. And it's so obviously like German um, or Austrian or whatever, and like or Swiss, as, which is I think actually where it's from. Yeah, and um, and then they just have like the Irish dubbing on it. Yeah, and it's like oh, this is so obviously like a Swiss woman, like speaking German or something. Yeah, going like, yeah, can ich mein Lindor Schokolade haben bitte? And yeah. then under, but like dubbed over yeah, to yeah, under yeah. lips, and the lips are completely, completely different. different yeah. They go, I love that. Thank you so much for the lint chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> pure spoiled by all yeah. the lint you have to buy me now. Oh my God. <laughs> why is chocolate so sexy? Like, why is it sold as like sexy? Mm, you know, you got the lint balls. Is flaky is chocolate. The chocolate never tasted before. And then like the flake falling down her little, her, into her, her brown lip, yeah. you know, like, and then even the lint balls with like, why is pouring chocolate into a lint ball turning me on in a fucking weird way? And the galaxy women used to always have, um, they don't really have many ads as many as much, but they used to have, like, no. they'd put the whole bar into the net, but even the bit of the plastic that they put the wrapper in her yeah. mouth as well. That was Wild. part of it. That was part of it. This could be your Mickey. <laughs> yeah, it's just, there is something about. But it's sexy to women as well. I would propose, I, I haven't done any research, but I would guess Thanks. that the mm. person behind the Lint chocolate ads yes. was the same genius behind the Gaviscon and oh the Renny ads. Yes. I don't know if that's truth, but, and maybe the LKZI Unitas. Uh, I'd love a load of white uh, pasty firemen to squirt it, shit down my throat. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what they go with your mouth? White. <laughs> like, oh, but there is a huge coating, sex thing. Coating. They're, they're smooth caramel smooth bunny. Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Caramel bunny, what oh a my fucking God, ride. What a fucking damp yolk. The caramel Caramel bunny. bunny. Bit before your time, but there was a scorching hot. She looked like like kind of 
Lola Bunny from Space Jam meets Jessica Rabbit, who isn't a rabbit, who's a woman. Mm. Kind of combined. And Stifler's mom. And Stifler's mom. Oh. But super hot. She had like a bow. She had a bow around her neck just to show that she was in the fucking nip. Like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, she was yeah. in the nip and she had a scorching hot pot. Sorry, I'm going to... Sorry. You're getting very excited there, Tony. I did. Yeah, really excited there. I need to rein that in a little bit. Some people really don't like that no, shit. No, but she was an absolute lash. Like to be she was fair. an absolute lash. Um, and all the little, like, all the little critters would come over to her and, and kind of, like, throw chocolate and flowers at her feet. Her mm. big feet as well. And, you know, mm. she'd be like, oh, thank you. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, they'd all be little simps for her. Oh, little yeah. simps, yeah. Simps the, their like, hearts would be like, doing, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, out of their chest. A wolf their might go, ooga. Ooga. Their yeah. both eyes are spinning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to roll in their tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Oh. I'd love it if I could do that in real life. I just think that's funny. Mm. I think those kind of things. Good clean fun. Good, good clean, clean fun. fun. Like, or her, or her. <laughs> but things, even, like, those cartoons were horny. That was a horny person for someone yeah. to go, ooga. Or like their tongue to roll out. And that's like, Soft and fine or whatever. There is zero horniness. Horniness has been fucking compartmentalized into the same private space as your own TikTok algorithm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Horniness needs to just be out and fucking. Remember, there's an amazing article of like no one's ever looked better, and it's talking about like all the people who get jacked for Marvel movies and stuff. No one's ever looked better, but n n why is no one horny? It was like this amazing article about the kind of breaking down how mm. amazing everyone looks, but like there's no real, you know tension or sexual drive or anything like that. Even the cartoons were fucking horny back in the day. Maybe we yeah. could create a bit on this podcast. You Ooh, guys are making me oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, oh, oh. A you know? <laughs> What was the ding? What was that? No. I don't know. I'm making noises. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's a big fear of mine that like, you know, yeah, as you work in your comedy, you, you try and gain more numbers, more notoriety, sure. be in the public eye a bit more. I have a terrible fear of being somebody's Weird crush. Oh you my know, God. Wouldn't that be terrible? A weird crush. Or like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. If you're I, someone's weird, like... Like fancy uh, me on merit. Don't, yeah, I, yeah, you yeah. know, I'm scared you attracted that. to me. People do send every few fucking weeks, right? Someone will send me, I think this is your lookalike. Oh That's God. the ugliest fuckers they send me. And it's like <laughs> the worst. It's like somebody with like... <sighs> you know, horrible dark circles around their eyes and like a big fat neck and all. And I'm like, oh my God, like Pat this rabbit. person is like fat <laughs> rabbit neck. Mm. This person is like... That's a spit to you. That's a spit to you. I, 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 you I used to be just in do not reply. I'm just mm. like, you're going to be quiet. But there's sometimes I do want to block. I'm just yeah. like, don't ever darken the doorway of my DMs again. Yeah. Um, just fuck off. Do you know what as well I found? Like, you know when someone posts an, an Instagram, like on Instagram, a photo of you and you're tagged, and you look rotten in it. Mm. And you're just like, oh my God, they actually don't know what I look like when I look good. They think that that's the, I'm the same when I look rotten as the same when yeah. I have my angle and when I have my pow. You must just think I'm a fucking piece of trash. Have you ever had a boyfriend? I think that's what it's like having a boyfriend. <laughs> you taking photos? Yeah. yeah. I take so many photos of Anna. Anna mm. just like scrolls through and go, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's, I famously, like when I'm taking photos of any of my 10, tends to be female friends mm. they just I have a reputation for making people look so, me too. awful I, I, I make the most attractive people in the world I take a photo of Margot Robbie and I'll have her looking like Shane Daniel Byrne <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke that was a joke <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. oh god I'm so scared he he's gonna snap back at me he will <laughs> no 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 you've made your made your point <laughs> no it's gone so deep he's storing it for later oh, I'm so scared yeah I'm so scared I'm very I'm very bad at photos I can't get any I can just I mean, I'm sick of them I don't want to be in them I look horrible all the time I don't want to do it even on this podcast sometimes oh. I feel like I'm in the, in the bad zone I feel like I feel you like look like the best because you're front and center yeah, yeah but I, I also feel like actually. it's stretching me out a little bit is it this spot. is if you're watching on YouTube by the way if you're watching on YouTube on the computers yeah um, S subscribe in the YouTubes You should subscribe in the YouTube I think I, Someone teach us Who's going to teach I want to be taught How to get in the photographs Get in photographs How to do your angles And how to, I want to learn it That is the thing you can learn mm. Like yeah. you, you can uh, Get people to talk Teach you I think I see a lot of like um, Guys being like This is a take, take better photos And it's always like Hand in the pocket Kind of like Kind of to the side a little bit And kind of looking forward Like doing something with your hands Like maybe just fixing a ring Or something like that Hands your down Your cuffs Fixing your cuffs is always like Looks good uh, We should ask my grandma and Kevin PJ They'll know They, they would know right? They are also they just so great. hot all the time Yeah They are And like They're like the type of hot Like oh we've got hot bodies too It's like oh fuck off Yeah they got big so chests And all oh, oh, they're yeah, yeah. Great tushes and the, uh, 
Dancers I'm arses. terrified. Dancers it, 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 Kevin from my I'm grandmam is competing in the Borough de Change this year. What's the oh, point of us all competing? And he's uh, he's just I'm just terrified of what he's going to do. I I texted him to find out like if he's, and he says he's humming a song. And I'm like, you fucking, you're humming a song whilst doing insane choreography, yeah. while doing backflips. Yeah, oh, he's gonna like. I'm I'm hoping, fingers crossed. It's like just that smidgen too much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just that smidge too much. Mm. And uh, people are like, okay, with it. you know, all right. I hope he has like a bad fall. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> take him out. Take like, him out. Like, take him out. Take him out. He cries. <laughs> In front of the vicar seat. Yeah. I help him off. I go, oh, that's okay. Secretly delighted. Secretly delighted. Yeah. Those yeah. are some nice dancers legs you got there, Kevin. <laughs> Shame if somebody broke one of them. Shane uh, if someone were to kick them. A shame. shame. It'd be a shame. It'd be a shame. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, I, I mean, he's just going to kick ass, isn't he? And that's just the way it is. Yeah. Well. Break his legs. Mm. well, look, maybe after this now, maybe I won't actually have a fucking Easter egg. Maybe I can't. Maybe my body wasn't, you know. I do feel I we've lost. Be. The point of this podcast was to get hot. And I feel like I've lost, I've lost all attachment to that and not hot. Let's do it. Let's okay. put some pressure. And remember, I just, I will just reiterate you can be hot whatever way you look like. Yes. I'm worried me, about, you know, but what about Australia? I, I think I, I think you need to have a regiment in place for Australia. How am I going to keep fit in Australia? I'll probably just have to go down to Bondi Beach, but I don't know how I'm going to get there from Melbourne every day. That's true. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a bit of a, yeah. Get a bike maybe. They're I, really funny, uh, the Australians. Um, oh, they are. They're very good. They're like, Niels is telling me some really funny stories, but they are just like, you're going to have a hoot over there. They're very rude, very into rude humor. Like mm. filthy stuff. Can yeah, can. like just disgusting stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. Any you can't like piss. <laughs> <laughs> I am hoping for oh. Australians, but I'm also hoping for the diaspora to show up, you mm. know. The, mm. um, I am hoping to see the Irish people there. Mm. My friend Daniel, he messaged me about it this week. Nice. Mm, he said, yeah, you're looking forward to it? I said, yeah, come, bring 10 people. <laughs> Daniel Shaneburn. <laughs> um, Daniel Shaneburn. That's so stupid, I like that. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, we may as well plug. Shane, when are you going to be there so people know? Um, I'm there from the 9th to the 21st of um, April in Melbourne and mm -hmm. then the 24th and 26th in Sydney. That is wonderful. Which, Melbourne or Sydney, which one are you? Like, who do you thing? prefer? It's a thing. That's good. Melbourne or Sydney? Melbourne. Oh, wow. Oh. Here, are you, a, are you a Mars or a Snickers? Oh. So what did you call me? Are you a Mars or a Snickers? Mars. Mars. Oh, you've no nuts. Oh, oh, for folks' sake! Stop. No, I knew you were going to say that. Oh, I no, knew can I use that? Oh. Can I use that? Yeah, you can have that. Oh, you can oh have that. that's class. It's really good. You've known us. That's great. Melbourne, Sydney. Melbourne. Melbourne. M Melbourne. Sydney. Sydney. Great. I've heard Melbourne's very European and cool. I hate that term. I hate when people just think, call things European like that makes it, you know what it's I mean? It's very European and it's cool. It's very dismissive of people's cultures to be like, it's very European. It's actually yeah, quite European. that what Australia's not, all about? It's actually not fucking shit. It's actually very European. People, <laughs> people think a place like that is actually a bit shit, but it's actually very European. That Dude. being said, mm -hmm. I have heard that it is very European. I hear Argentina is very European. Well, then I'm going, really fucking old culture. <laughs> I'm different. going um, so, solo there. I don't have any team or anything going. So, and you, sometimes, like, people are like, message you after gigs, and you see the messages the next morning. They're, they're saying, come for a drink. And you're like, well, I'm already gone home. Yes. Uh, like, I'm, this is the next day. I, I can't go for a drink. But then in El Melbourne, somebody was like, I'll bring you out in the gay. And I was like, Absolutely. Great. I will go out with strangers. I'll do it. Oh, like, nice. I have a great app for you. It's called a Raid R, right? <laughs> but R A D with an R, and it's like scan all the gays in your. Oh, that'd be really, fun. really good. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. And then it plays you can like... go to gay bars by yourself. Gay. I'm of a generation that did things like that, so you can do that. But... Unlike straight people. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like it's not about disappearing into a bar by oh, yourself. Oh, okay. You actually you, know, you go for community. Off, you like, go for yeah, a, yeah. You go find a thing. Yeah. Um, you seek it out. So I, I, I'm not above doing that. I, I have my, my roots in. That, mm. um, do we have time? I want to say one more thing that Emma Doran talked about this kind of thing recently. She oh, was yeah, talking about that she was locked out of her. She was staying in a thing in Castle Bar and she locked out of the Airbnb or whatever it was called. The the the, the B and B. Mm. God, they've oh become so God, ubiquitous. Jesus I called it every week. The B and B, and she didn't have her phone. She didn't have her keys. She was like, oh, for fuck's sake! And she was like, and she in her head, she was like, right, I'll go down to the guard station, I suppose. And I just thought, like, she didn't. In the end, your man appeared <laughs> just by luck. But I was like, isn't it amazing? I was like. I we're ju I feel like I'm just old enough to know that that is what you kind of have to do in that situation. <laughs> Whereas the younger generation will just be like, right, well, the guards will at least in the small town will go, oh, that's your man who owns this. I'll get a number for yeah, him. You know what okay, I mean, they will help. Fair. But I just think like the younger generation will be like, 
what do I do now? Like, I have no phone. I don't I'm know what to do. Like, something. Yeah, I'll smash the window. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone I have to, the to smash the window. See, what would you have done if you got locked out, no phone, no key, and you're in Castle Bar and you're in your t-shirt and it's nighttime? I wouldn't have a clue. I'd, uh, a- I'd ask a stranger for help. I would keep banging. I'm just dumb. I would. Ah! <laughs> I did actually, one time I did this gig down in, um, in, in Waterford in Tremor. Me and Kevin did it and we got fucking pissed because the green room was flowing with booze and like Brezzy nice. had this bottle of like, Brezzy was playing on it and he had this like bottle of like Southern Comfort or something like that and we drank it all like so before he was like, we were so fucking pissed. It was, I was so pissed that night that like I blacked in while surrounded by a room of people listening to me talking oh, oh, no. and then I was talking about how the moon is hollow and that people think it's a space station and I was like, <laughs> I need to go now, right? And then so I went back to the to the B and B and I was like, and I was like, oh, I don't have my key. Oh, and I started banging on the door like, doom, 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 doom. And then I was like, do, 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 do. and then I had like the number or whatever. I didn't see there was like a number to call. And then I started like screaming like, hey, hey. And I was like trying to put my mouth around the keyhole. And I was like, hey. <laughs> and then the guy just came down and he pointed at the sign being like, call that. But then he also just like opened the door. <laughs> and I was like, oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I had a good time though. Oh. Don't get to drink like that much these days. But uh, yeah, I just keep banging. <laughs> keep banging. Okay, maybe my theory is incorrect. No, your theory is no, good. No, I like I it. I wouldn't right. know about that. That and, sounds quite colloquial, like, you know, you know, not colloquial, what's it called? Uh, kind of old-fashioned, and I, I dig it. Mm, yeah, going mm, to the garage station. Mm, yeah. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 I suppose I could yeah. be, yeah, yeah, I guess. Anyway, I'm also gigging. <laughs> If you like all my power, right? And I'm going to be, go to uh, at Tony Horror on Instagram and all the list is there. I'll be in Dublin. I'll be in Wicklow. I'll be in, I'll be in fucking uh, Blanchardstown. I'll be in Limerick. I will be in Galway and Cork and Belfast and Dundalk and London, TBC. Uh, Tony, Byrne Cantwell. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Cantwell Byrne. Tony Cantwell Byrne. Uh, if you want to support this podcast if you're one of those people who listens every week and enjoys it and says yes. I really like it uh, you can do that by going to Headstuff Plus uh, just for the price of what I don't know how much probably it, cheaper than a pint uh, cheaper a than shekels. a pint a few, a few, well, a few shekels uh, yeah I don't know what the, the what, it is uh, in, what is this in today's money but it would have been 20 one piece gold of silver, for the probably. amount that Ju- uh, Judah sold Jesus much out. cheaper than <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, much cheaper and you'd be doing you know a great service now I'd say we'd you know, be doing a great <laughs> service I'm I'd free that experience going straight into that your wherever true. you listen to podcasts yeah. exactly the same except it has a little banner on it yeah. saying premium or something. if you listen on Spotify if yeah. you listen on Apple whatever it goes in there secrets and, uh, for only we, us we have yeah it's a, an extra episode every week also ad free listening and stuff like that so you so get if you want the regular episode ad free and then the bonus episode every so on Tuesday you get bonus on Thursday you get an ad free episode um, and you also, it's also, you know, we, we take, it's a, it's a lovely community. We actually have people writing in letters and stuff like that. And we respond to them. Mm. I would have an agony ant column that we do sometimes. Yes. We have fun. We have games. We kind of let loose a little bit. So, it's uh, only the crumbliest, flakiest chocolate. chocolate. Oh my God. Mm. It tastes like chocolate never tastes before. There's yes. hot rabbits there. I will be giving Shane and Tony a Zolai on the next one. Thank you. That's will a good I? idea. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. Yeah. Go I on. Will. Okay. Go on. Three boiled eggs. Imagine I get here and I'm like, lads. They fell, the out eggs. Out of my pocket. they fell out of my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over Pierce Street. Everyone's freaked. I brought too much. Um, but look, thanks very much. Thank you. We love you. Bye. We love you. Bye. Cheers. Dinner the track. I am very tired. Hot, Bob. And a little bit sad. He was the best guy around. Oh my! Oh my! Is it hot in here or what? You're an attractive guy. It's the fabulous Tony Cantwell. I'm talking about Shane Daniel Burns. Idiot!